the history. Look what happened over the last three years with all these vaccinations. And many of you people bowed to the system. You went along with it because you wanted to keep your jobs. Do you know the Bible says that there's coming a day when you're going to have to take a mark? It's called the mark of the beast. You know what that means? It means the mark of the system, the Babylonian system, the corrupted system. Many of you are bowing even right now. Just like that woman, bowing to the devil, bowing to the system, bowing to the leaders of this world that are corrupt. And you are even willing to take the mark, the marks, the things that identify you with the corruption of this world. And you have no conscience anymore. The world is coming to a place where nobody will have a conscience. Where the Bible says that there's coming a day where there, there will be a, a, a lovelessness in the hearts of man. There will be a love for the things of this world in the hearts of men. A love that's so passionate for corruption that even they will kill Christians. Even they will reject God. They will remove God from the places it should be. God should be on the throne, not man. God's ways should be exalted, not man's ways. God's word should be teach, taught in the school systems, not this corrupt stuff. And so now we're left to the streets. The real believers are left to the streets. And soon they're going to take us off the streets. They're going to say that the Christians, the ones that preach the truth, are the messed up ones. We are the, 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 the deluded ones. But we're the ones saying that marriage still exists between a male and a female. Not two women, not two men. It is a male and female. There's an Adam and Eve for a reason. We will not live if we, if we don't have a mother and a father. And if you want to pr propagate and promote all the wrong teachings and philosophies, you're going to end up in the grave just like those who do. Go ahead. Teach your children that it's okay for your, for your boy to sleep with another boy. Go ahead. He's not going to have a future. Your line will be cut off because you've embraced sin. And that's the destruction. That's the consequence of sin. The wages of sin is death. You want to live in sin? Go ahead. Your line will be cut off. Maybe the world will be better off without your line if you continue in that way. That's your own condemnation. Your line will be cut off. You won't have any peace. There's no peace to people sleeping around all day. There's no peace for people that break every principle in the book and thinking that they're going to have happiness. You can't have happiness without God's word. You can't have happiness without God. You can't have good without God. I love how the English language describe God. God, G-O-D, and good means G-O-O-D. You need God to have good in your life. You want to take God out of your life, you will have no good. You know, it's common sense if you just break it down. See, a lot of people don't take the time to read the Bible. A lot of people don't take the time to pray. A lot of people don't take the time to think. And that's exactly what the devil wants. The devil wants, the devil wants, the system wants to corrupt every one of you. Opening up pubs at every corner just so that you don't think. God bless you. Just so that you don't think. I'm full of hate. Why, why am I full of hate? Tell me, tell me. I don't understand you. Come, you're just running away saying I'm full of hate. Aren't we friends? She has a, friends? Yes, my grandma. Let's be friends. You want to be my friend? Or are you full of hate? I am not I'm not full of hate. You want to be my friend? Or are you full of hate? Shake my hand. Because I'm not full of hate. Are you full of hate? You're not even letting me talk. No, I'm just... Uh, uh, now you're touching me again. You want to hear her? Now listen, now listen, 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 listen. This is chill. Man, you know, very well self-control. I, I practice for boxing every day. <laughs> Love you. I love you. Yeah, just right. chill. Just chill. Take a chill pill. You got a shirt with saying friends on. You want to be my friend? Because you said I, I'm full of hate and, I, and I, you won't even shake my hand. So who's full of hate? I'm not full of hate. I'm, I'm willing to shake your hand. I don't even know where your hand's been. And I'm willing to, I'm willing to shake it. So, yes, you can. No, because you cannot talk because everyone's... You see, you're not letting her talk now. Are you going to let her talk? The, the opposite of friends is not enemy, it's just not caring about somebody. The truth is, I'm sorry, I do not care about people full of hate that stand on the street yelling about how others are going to hell and stuff like that. But the only thing I see, you don't even want her to talk. The only thing they do is preach. They don't help no, others. I just want to they don't give around. Because I know it's they're not be... they're spreading in the community. They're just full of hate. They just place themselves above people and they're like, look at me, how mighty I am. 
and you're only going to reach me if I do this, but you're never out giving out to people. You're never sharing, you're never looking, you're never, I don't know. You're just out there telling people they're going to, they're well, going to well, well, Okay, well, that, you well pick that. And choose. You pick and choose from the Bible, which I have read because I too was raised Catholic. Thank you, me um, too. But you pick and choose which things you're going to discriminate other people about, okay? Say, you choose that, you chose the thing about a man in a, in, in a, a man and a woman lying together, but you're also wearing mixed cottons, mixed blend. Um, I'm sure there are other many things that I you think it's actually 100% cotton everything I'm wearing right now. Is it? Yeah. You want to show all labels? No, it's not labels, man. I got this in Ethiopia. Yeah, sure. It's actually real pure. Yeah, sure. Does that destroy and your argument? No, because my argument is that you should discriminate against people because they're wearing cotton. Yeah, sure. Does that destroy your argument? No, because my argument is not just about the cotton. It's that you pick and choose what things you're going to discriminate about instead of going about Jesus' actual message, which is about loving thy neighbor. Jesus didn't go around preaching it to prostitutes. He loved them. He gave their hands to them. And that's how you actually share, how you make things better. Not by telling people, I'm better than you, stop what you're doing, but by showing them the good side of you and inspiring them. Well, 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 that's what I was trying to ask you. I was like, would you shake my hand? You're not even showing any good to me. I mean, I mean you might call me an enemy, a friend of me, or some other thing, someone you're not interested in. Look, I'm, I'm saying, regardless of who you are, I'm willing to shake your hand. So I think you're misjudging me, misrepresenting me. You just came a second ago, hear one thing, and you assume... Hold on, I listen to you, listen to me. You, you assume my entire life... You don't know what I do behind closed doors. You don't know who I feed. You don't know who I help. You don't know what I do. You don't even know my name. But you're not even willing because you're full of hate. Yet you have a word called friends on your shirt. So might I suggest to you the greatest friend that you could ever have is Jesus Christ. There's no other friend that would die for you except Jesus Christ. And that's what we preach. We want to preach to people like yourself hope. We want to tell people that you don't have to take your life, regardless of who you are. Yes, I don't agree that women should sleep with women. I don't, because it's not natural. I don't believe men should put their penis in anuses. Why? Because it's not natural. But do I love them? Absolutely. Why? I, yeah, yeah, now you're getting aggressive here. Are you willing to shake my hand yet? You're monologuing. Okay, no, I'm not monologuing. I listen to you. It's called listening to me. Are you, okay, I will give it back to you, but I did listen to you. So we're going to start, we're going to start afresh. Okay, hold on a second. We're going to start afresh. My name's David. Would you shake my hand? Sure, I'll shake your What's hand. What's your name? My name, I have many names. You can call me Rock. Rock, okay. Nice to meet you, Rock. Thank you. So let, let's talk, Rock. Let's go. What do you, what do you want to say? What I want to say is, first of all, um, what was I going to say two seconds ago? I'm not assuming love. I haven't said anything about your life. My yeah, argument about uh, cotton was about some cotton. Let's get him to turn around and things show things the audience. About. Meanwhile, there's other things that we're all we're all guilty of something. We all sin in some way or another. But you all pick and choose on what to discriminate about, place about, and you're like you're going to hell because of that. According to the Bible, we're all going to hell because we've all done one thing or another, right? But why should these people? Why should thy neighbor? stop their sin more than we should stop the sins that we're doing. I think that we should review ourselves first very hardly before coming into others and telling them you're going to hell because of that. Like I think you should really like we all should look at stuff in the mirrors before going to others and just judging. Like, we don't know their lives either. And no, I, the truth is I think like I don't know it's kinda of weird to be thinking about other people having sex all the time. Like that's literally none of your business. Like, go help in the community shelter. People are thinking about what other people do in their bed. I'm just laughing at you. Yeah, okay, so you, you made a lot of comments like, all I do is think about people having sex. There's a lot of things that you I said. That. You, you just said that. You can go back on the live stream. But, but what you just said, I, I agree with a lot of things. Introspection, this is what I teach. I mean, the first thing I do is look at myself, all the issues that I have, the things that I need to change. And I do need to change. I do need to repent of whatever sins is in my life, just like you. And that's exactly what we preach. Sin brings forth death. You see, the devil wants you to go. And if you want to go, that's fine. If you want to disrupt the conversation, you see, you see what happens. When the truth starts ministering to somebody, the devil comes and takes them away. You see, you see that? You see that? Because I was breaking down what she asked and what she really wanted to know. But the devil doesn't want her to see, be free. A lot of spiritual warfare, a lot of things are happening right in front of your eyes. And all you need is spiritual eyes to see what's happening. We saw devils right in front of our eyes, demons. 
manifesting in a person. We saw a person that's so hardened in heart that they don't want to repent. And that brought the salvation of many people at this street corner. The salvation. Because God's plans will not be thwarted by the enemies. Some people are going to get saved simply by the enemy's manifestation. So that just shows you, don't be afraid of the enemy. Keep preaching regardless of what you go through because God is going to come out on top at the end of the day. And it's the same thing with the future of this world. The future of this world is going to be in the hands of God. This world is going to bow before the name of Jesus Christ. Soon it looks like the devil.